hello python programmers so in this video we'll be creating a personal assistant program with python without writing any ai algorithm ourselves so we'll be using four modules of python here first is speech recognition to get the user input S second and third which is wolfram alpha and wikipedia to generate the answer for our question and fourth is kinter to show the user the output so without wasting any time let's get started okay so let me create a new file here by as usual one dot py as you know i have a name obsession here with one dot py let me import our required libraries Now let's create an infinite loop. Now first we'll start off with uh, taking the input from the user using our speech recognition library here. Make sure that this R is in capital and this is recognizer because i make a lot of mistake by just writing recognize so i just pointed out this mistake here now we are taking our microphone as a source for our speech recognition here now i'll just print something to make sure that everything is working fine now let's create a try and accept condition to see that whether whatever you are saying is understood by our python module or not so let's create a try and accept condition here now here we are converting our audio into text format now we want a condition here that if we say stop then our personal assistant program should stop and by this i mean that this infinite loop should be broken so let's create that if text is equal to equal to stop which means that from the microphone we are saying stop we'll simply break our loop here and if this is not the case it means we are not saying stop we are saying something else we will continue Now here I have created a kinder uh, a kinder window. Sorry, <laughs> and now we'll use a try and accept condition to see that which of our module will be used to answer the question. I have already told you that we'll be using two modules to answer our question. First is 
Wolfram Alpha. Second is Wikipedia. Let's see, for example, the question like "Hello, how are you? What is your name?" comes as a condition for Wolfram Alpha. And the question like "Who was?" and "At what place?" and some question which need some detailed answers. We need our Wikipedia module here. So now we'll use try and accept. So that we can get the exact answer from the perfect module here. Now, what you need to do is create an Wolfram Alpha account here. Simply go to your browser, Google Wolfram Alpha. Just go to this Wolfram Alpha website. Okay, so now I'm signed in here. Go to my app ID. Get the app ID. Okay. So now this is the app ID for me. I'll copy it and paste it in this app ID variable. So far so good. Okay, so now we want our Kinter window to automatically close after a certain amount of time. Okay, so now let me explain you what are we doing here. In this try condition first we have provided our app ID for the Wolfram Alpha then we have said that okay my client ID is this then we have generated our answer and stored it into this answer variable then we have created a Kinter label and the font is this and the and uh, the answer will be printed because we have provided the text as the answer we have packed our label and then after 500 microseconds let's just make it 5000 because 500 is such a small value so after 5000 microsecond our, our kinter window will automatically close okay so now let's make it for our next uh, module which is wikipedia 
accept you don't need any ID here just wikipedia dot summary and you'll get the answer now what I'll simply do is I'll copy paste all this the answer remains the same it's just that the visible microsecond should be a bit longer because our Wikipedia text will be a long one then we'll create an accept for this condition like if our audio is understood by our module then we'll get the answer and it will be printed but what if our module was not able to recognize our answer then what will happen so we'll write it under this accept condition and we'll simply we don't want to show this to user we just want to see that whether our program is working and uh, the speech is not recognized so we'll just print into our command prompt so I guess this is it uh, yeah this is it let's save this go to my folder here to open the command prompt so open powershell here accept invalid syntax that's strange there must be an error in the line before that at what line number at line number 40 it's right there This should be the indentation, I guess. Let me save it once again. stop the video because my mic was not compatible with this uh, program I, I really don't know what the reason is but uh, I use a simple earphone mic